seven worksheet six. These proofs are really easy compared to the ones you've already done, I promise. So, ways to prove triangles similar. So we already know ways to prove them congruent. Now we're talking about ways to prove them similar. Here are the three ways. Angle, angle, side, angle, side, and side, side, side. Now the difference between this and the ones you've done before is that the sides don't stand for congruent sides in this case. They stand for proportional sides. You're gonna use angle, angle 95% of the time, okay? It's just, it's just how it works, okay? The other two, again, the S stands for proportional sides, not congruent. So you're only gonna use these when you actually have proportional sides given to you. So they flat out say, hey, these sides are proportional. Or if you have numbers where you can prove that they're proportional. So if you don't have values for the sides or they don't give you that the sides are proportional, you can't do a thing with it, which is why angle, angle is what you're gonna use 95% of the time. So let's talk about what that will look like. We have our givens, so we're used to this, right? We put our givens in, we label that on our diagram, okay, and we write it in. Angle one is congruent to angle two. Perpendicular lines make congruent right angles. Okay, so let's remember, what do we look for after we're done with our givens? Well, we look for the reflexive property or vertical angles. And you might be saying, well, I don't see either of those. One of the things that you don't realize until similarity is that angles can also be reflexive. So in this case, both of these triangles, ADE and ADC have angle A in them. So we're gonna use that as our reflexive property. So angle A is congruent to angle A reflexive property. And then I have two congruent angles and there's no sides given to me, so I know I'm using an angle angle proof. And I can say that the triangles are similar because of that. They're really that easy. They're usually about four to five steps. They're not too bad. Okay, over here, I'm given that we have triangle CBE and I have parallel sides. Notice we don't have any side length, so this must be an angle angle proof. I see that I'm trying to prove something else, which I'm gonna get there you know, eventually here, but because there's no side lengths, this has to be an angle angle proof, it has to be. So why would they give me these parallel sides? Well remember, parallel, we usually look for the Z, in this case we don't have one, but don't forget that we also have corresponding angles. So this angle here and angle C are corresponding angles. So I'm gonna call that angle one, so I can just write it easier in my proof. And angle C, I'm fine to call it angle C because there's nothing else touching it. Corresponding angles are congruent. I then can use angle B being reflexive, or I could have used angle E and this angle here as corresponding, whichever one you're more comfortable with. I just wanna remind you that the reflexive angle exists, so I'm gonna use that one. So angle B is congruent to itself, reflexive property. And then remember, that proves the triangles are similar. So I'm gonna say that the two triangles are similar because of angle angle. From here, it's kind of like that CPCTC thing, but we can't really say that. There isn't a short way to say it for similar triangles. But I can say that these sides are proportional because similar triangles have proportional sides. I also could say that I have another pair of congruent angles because similar triangles have congruent angles. There's a bunch of different ways I can do this. But this is just that extra step kind of example. All right, they want us to prove that the triangles are similar and they told us that angle A is congruent to angle D. So I use that given. What do we look for after we're out of givens? Vertical angles and reflexive property. So I'm gonna put a one and two in my vertical angles and say that those are congruent. I now have proven that the triangles are similar because of angle angle. Like I said, they're short and sweet for the most part. Here's another example, I have, I'm given parallel sides. So again, that's when I look for the Z's. So I see angle S and angle G are alternate interior angles. I also see angle R and angle T are alternate interior angles. I could have used the vertical angles here, I chose to use alternate interior angles twice. And then I can say that the triangles are similar because of angle angle, but that's not what I was trying to prove. I wanted to prove that all of these sides were proportional. Well again, that's just that extra step and you simply say similar triangles have proportional sides. Okay, so are these triangles similar, yes or no? How do we know? So again, when you're given numbers, you wanna be thinking about sides. So in this case, I'm gonna set up all the proportions that I can. So you might be like, how did you know which numbers went with which? Well, the biggest numbers are gonna go with the biggest, the middle numbers are gonna go with the other middle number, and the small number is gonna go with the other small number. So that's how I set these up. And do they all equal the same? They all equal 1.5, so this is a yes, because of side, side, side. And you would have to show this work. Without this work, you wouldn't be able to prove it to me. Over here, I see that these angles are the same. I also have vertical angles, so this is yes because of angle angle. Notice there were no side lengths given at all, so that's why I knew I was looking for angle angle. Down here, this is looking like a side angle side, but again, I need to make sure that my sides are proportional. 
Five is bigger than three. Seven and a half is bigger than four and a half. So that's how I picked which ones go together. I simplify, I get one and a half and one and a half. So this is a yes for side, angle, side. Okay. In D, I have this reflexive angle here. And then I have 93 and 93. So this is a yes because of angle, angle. It has two congruent angles. That's it. So again, angle, angle is what you're going to use most of the time. Other than that, you would have to have numbers. Have a great day and I'll see you later.